Hey everyone, this is Frugal Panda here with a review of the Siri or Saru 3T-35 tabletop handheld video tripod with a ball head. Uh, so the model number is 3T-35K. Right away off the bat when I take it out of the box, I notice the, the heft to it, not heavy, but solid feeling, and that's saying a lot. I've had some really cheap tripods, everyone. And this one is, I'm saying, probably 99% metal in comparison to others that were like 99% plastic. It came with a nice little carrying case, another one for the little column that comes with it. It has a little shorty column that comes with it also. A couple of hex uh, tools with it. A little clip. Of course, you see the shorty right there. Uh, in my hand, this thing really feels good. This is the best one I've bought yet, and I highly, highly recommend it. As you can see, it has a, a ball head, and you can tighten it up. You do not, when I was messing around, when you guys saw me opening it, I'm doing it right on video, so I've never even messed with it yet. So when you loosen it, just tighten it a little bit, and then you can move it around without it being loose in your hand, and then tighten it to where you want it, straight, sideways, whatever. Has a little clip on the bottom. A little key like uh, clip on the bottom that you can use the little clip they give give you with it and um, you can hook it on the stuff so you don't lose it you know all that good stuff the little stand very solid all metal there's a little thing on it and I'll show in a minute on the video when you twist it, it has a little picture it shows lock and unlock when you unlock it then they can flip up when you lock it, it locks it in place so the stand, the little legs stay down, no problem. They stick up, they don't fall down when they're up like that. They make actually a really good grip when they're standing up. I mean, when excuse me, when you got them folded up for your hand. Uh, this is made out of aluminum, actually. Um, and I believe, I'm saying 99% of it is probably aluminum. Um, it, it felt like all metal to me, but there's always little plastic parts, of course, on all these. But this one, the quality was really good. You can extend it so it'll pull apart and you can get a little more height on it. The main reason I got it for was to have something that I could hold my phone in that was dependable. If I dropped it or it fell on my backpack, it wasn't going to break the very first time it falls out. Of course, it came in a black color. Um, it is the top right there, as you can see. Um, it's really easy to use and like I said on the on the video you're seeing me just use it for the first time um, it's a two-in-one tripod as you can see three legs they can be 180 80 degree reverse fold up and you can use it as a selfie stick or a handheld video recording or sitting on a table you know and take videos all that good stuff uh, the plate on top is quick release so um, you can yank it off if you need to now you can don't have you can use it with your phone or your GoPro. I could use this with my GoPro too, just depending on my, my adapters I want to use with it. The actually where you, you where the grip is is non-slip. They made sure they made it non-slip, and the weight on this it says is 0.37 pounds, so under half a pound, which I think is uh, what gives it a little bit of heft, but also makes it feel pretty solid versus the other ones I've had. They were all plasticky. And I dropped them once or twice and they cracked or they never could, they never would stand up straight ever again, you know. Um, it has really good reviews. You're seeing me put my adapter on for one of my phones. Now, this one right here I'm using is just one I had on hand right now. Uh, of course, my phone is really large. This is an iPhone 12 Pro Max. because th So this would not be the one I ever used with my phone. I have a better one than this. And I also have one I'm going to review once it gets here that's all metal. So I end up getting, an, I'm on this all metal kick because the plastic ones keep breaking on me. But it feels really solid. Actually, when you hold it, it feels really good in your hands, everyone. Like I said, it's non-slip. It's, it's big enough that it fits in your hand, but it's not where it's making your hand uncomfortable. I've had some that makes me feel like I'm dang, dang near, you know, trying to palm a basketball. Uh, when it's when it's locked, the bottom legs are out. It's very sturdy. It doesn't move around. That was the table moving, not actually that. It looks really good. It's really solid looking. I really like this uh, tripod slash handheld um, 
recording to, uh, recording stand. I can record, take videos. But also what I like about it is when I'm out and about and I'm out taking videos or I'm out road tripping it and stuff like that. When I'm holding in my hand, it's not all huge. So, you know, it's not like some of my hand, it feel, looks like you're walking around with a stick in your hand and, you know, when you're in the cities, people are like, what's wrong with him? Is he going to hit somebody with it or something like that? And they realize it's, oh, it's a tripod. So uh, it is a Siru, S-I-R-U-I, 3T-35. You see me using the hex screw right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it out and um, use the shorty with this. The shorty in it is really cool to use too if you want it to even be shorter than what it is, especially if you're only going to use it for like a handheld or you're maybe going to take a uh, footage from you sitting at a table, for example, or something like that. At first, I thought about leaving it like that, but it's already short enough for me personally with just the two, but it just gives me a better uh, way to um, use it and be able to extend it out if I did need to a little bit, but not a lot like that. So, but this is still really good to use for that uh, if you want a, even a shorter uh, column in there so you only use one piece and with this you can even which is really cool like I'm showing you right now even with you can take all the columns out which I didn't show in the video but you can take both those columns out and take the base plate the base of it and actually screw it direct screw it directly into the top without a column in the middle and make it even shorter, which I thought was really cool. Now, would I use it? No, I wouldn't. More than likely, 99% of the time, I would not use that, but it is a possibility if you really needed to do that. Um, I think it looks really good. So there it is with the shorty column in it. Make sure you tighten up the um, the hex screws in, in it and that'd keep it from moving around and all that good stuff. That's what the little tools are for. And that little bag you saw off to the side next to the big bag, that's to put all your um, tools in and everything else, your co extra columns and whatever else you have in there. So when it's in the bigger bag with with the actual tripod, it's not scratching it all up and, you know, and all that good stuff. So I thought that was really cool that they actually did something like that. They really thought of it. even the little clip you put on the bottom. Um, so you can hang it on stuff or, you know, put on your belt loop or something like that. So you don't lose it. It even has a little rubber protection piece on it to keep it from scratching it. Now, is this going to get scratched? Oh yeah. But it's just, you know, it's the thoughts to count that they're really trying to do something like that. The short column that I put in was 10 centimeters. So it'll drop it down to around 10 centimeters, the actual column. The height on it is 27 centimeters and that's with both of the columns in there so and it can be folded up or down by 180 degrees in regards to the feet i think it's really cool i highly recommend this and i want to thank everybody for watching